Star Trek tech that came true. I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Star Trek has been a cultural phenomenon for more than 45 years, so it stands to reason that some of the technology that has powered the series on TV and in the movies has gone from science fiction to science fact. Let the countdown begin. Engage. Number 10, Romulan Cloaking. This bit of Star Trek tech first appeared on December 15, 1966 in the TV episode Balance of Terror. But in late 2011, researchers at the University of Texas at Dallas succeeded in bending light around sheets of carbon nanotubes that were suspended in a tank of water in their lab. This cloaking technique, which can be turned off and on, mimics the mirage effect in deserts or hot roads in the summer. Now, full-blown standalone cloaking devices are still quite a ways off. So for now, we'll consider this a proof of concept experiment, even if no Romulans we're involved. Number nine. Transparent aluminum? Hardcore Trekkies know that Star Trek technical manuals list transparent aluminum for Starship components, like ship portals and windows. More casual Star Trek fans will recognize it from the 1986 motion picture Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. The ultra-thick panels were needed to hold tons of water in the Klingon ship cargo bay, as well as those two humpback whales. Since 1980, at least five patents have been filed for transparent aluminum oxynitride, and today aluminum oxynitride is marketed under the name Alon, or Alon. This commercial version of transparent aluminum is a lightweight, optically transparent product that can withstand temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius and is 85% as hard as sapphire. Because it's still relatively expensive to manufacture, don't expect to be viewing whales through it anytime soon, but it does show promise as blast and temperature resistant ballistic windows. Number eight. Now it's gone, but I'm feeling a bit foggy. The tricorder. This bit of Star Trek tech dates back to the original TV series and has continued through every generation. There are three versions of the tricorder issued in Starfleet. The standard tricorder is a general purpose device used to scout and record data in unfamiliar areas, an engineering tricorder to help keep the warp core and other systems running smoothly, and a medical tricorder to help diagnose diseases and collect information about a patient. NASA has placed a lab on a chip portable test system aboard the International Space Station that's similar in form and function to Starfleet's tricorder. The lab on a chip handheld device is mainly used for microbial monitoring on the ISS. You try saying it. We're going to take a quick break to thank the people who make it possible for us to bring you this show, and when we get back, well, we can't forget about you already. Fascinating. There's also some very interesting stuff on the Ben Heck Show. He's a modding wizard. For example, in the latest episode, he wasn't satisfied by the Kinect, so he attempted to build a Minority Report-like glove to control his Xbox. You can watch it and find out how to enter to win a creation at element14.com slash tbhs. Number seven. There's a door hidden right behind you. I can see the separation with my visor. When we first met Lieutenant Commander LaForge in the Next Generation TV series, a visor allowed him to overcome his blindness. By the last three Next Generation films, his visor was replaced by ocular prosthetics. Bionic Vision Australia is bringing Geordi's visor to reality with real-world tests that will help blind patients view large objects through a camera-equipped visor and 98 ocular implants in 2013. They have plans for a version that uses more than a thousand ocular electrodes to give users more detailed vision. Number six. Relatively painless medicine has been a hallmark of Star Trek from the beginning. First, there's the hypospray that dispensed injections without needles. Jet injectors have been around for a while. They were first used for mass inoculations, but are now single-use devices given cross-contamination concerns. And remember McCoy's rant against invasive surgery in Star Trek IV? Researchers are experimenting with ultrasound surgery as science continues to mirror science fiction. From here on, our countdown looks at Star Trek tech that came true, that many of us use every day and probably take for granted. What five common technologies do you take for granted now that you've probably first learned about on Star Trek then? The final five pieces of real sci-fi tech on the next episode of Geek Beat. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Bionic Vision Australia is bringing Geordi's visor. I can't say this. Okay. Bionic Vision Australia is bringing Geordi's visor. Visor! Visor! Large objects through a camera equipped vis visor. Darn it, don't laugh at me.
Bionic Vision Australia. Bringing Jordy's thing hey. jig to reality. Jordy, do hickey. Do hickey. Why don't you do a couple of backflips or something? Do hickey. Thingamabob. <laughs> Whatchamacallit? Eye thingy.